On the next Canine Corner, we'll stop by National Adoption Weekend at PetSmart and tell you all about the event and how you can give this girl a forever home. Plus, want to treat your dog to a spa day? We'll stop by Bubbles Pet Spa, the ultimate place to pamper your pup. All this coming up on the next Canine Corner. Hi there, I'm Rhiannon Trutanich, your host for Canine Corner, the show that your dog will give two paws up. It's all about adoption on Canine Corner today. We'll stop by National Adoption Weekend at PetSmart and learn about the PetSmart Charities Program. Plus, we'll check out Bubbles Pet Spa and learn about the awesome spa services they offer for dogs. But first, let's meet the adorable dogs from the Whiskers and Tails Foundation. I'm here to introduce to you Walter, who is a Chihuahua Chai Mix, um, part Japanese dog. And this is Walter right here. And this is Athena. And Athena is part Greyhound and Chihuahua. And they're um, forever friends and they're looking for a forever home. Oh, they're so sweet. They're so lovable and so affectionate. Um, Walter loves to play ball and he will chase the ball all day long if you let him. He can catch a ball in midair. He's very, very skilled. Athena is very, very tricky. She can, um, she can somehow get the ball away from Walter no matter what <laughs> when she wants the ball. She's very, very fast. They love to run together. They love to play. They would probably be better in a house that has a, a, a very small yard because they do enjoy their yard. I know a lot of dogs don't, but these two dogs really enjoy a small yard. And they're, they're perfect family dogs. They like to snuggle and cuddle, and they like to play. They will listen to you, and um, they're just looking for a forever home. And they come from a military background, and so they were bounced around quite a bit. So Walter takes a little bit of warming up, too, but once, once he is feeling secure and safe, he is just the most amazing dog. Athena warms up a little bit faster. She has been bounced around a little bit less than Walter. So I would love for them to find a forever home. Thanks to Whiskers and Tails, they're having an opportunity to be shown. Baby Bear is two years old and he's a Chihuahua. His foster owner found him in the yard very uh, badly cared for. And so he made sure to pick him up and take him in. And so we're just trying to find Baby Bear a home. He's really sweet and he's almost fully house trained. He's using pads right now. He would be best in any home really, but uh, specifically if the owners are looking for something more quiet and maybe for like an apartment, or he'd be really, uh, he's like a little house dog, so. Wyatt is a eight and a half month old Dotson Chihuahua. Um, we've had him since he's been three months. We had his entire litter of all of his brothers and sisters. Um, he's the last one left. I don't know why, as you can see, he's just the cutest little guy. Um, he's really active, loves to play. He's actually um, already housebroken through a doggy door at my house. But of course, you know, if anybody adopts him, they have to retrain him, of course. So we tell that to everybody. Um, he's a sweet little guy, loves to play with other dogs, loves little kids, loves to sit in your lap. As soon as you sit down, he hops right in your lap. So he's, he's waiting for his home. That's what he's waiting for. Like I said, all his brothers and sisters got adopted and he's still waiting. But his time will come eventually. Perfect family will come for him. If you are interested in adopting any of these dogs, please contact the Whiskers and Tails Foundation at whiskerstails.org. Now that we've met some of the adorable pups who are up for adoption, let's learn more about National Adoption Weekend and the PetSmart Charities. PetSmart promoted pet adoption with National Adoption Weekend, a three-day event to get adorable animals into forever homes. National Adoption Weekend is a uh, chance for everybody to come out for three days to see all the cats and dogs that are up for adoption from the local shelters. And it's a big event. We have them inside and out. And it just gives you a chance to play with the dogs. You can actually foster them and take them home for three weeks if you like. And then they do home, the home visits and the, the checks and everything like that. Customers of all ages had fun meeting the adorable and adoptable pets, and rescue groups loved getting a chance to get their animals out there and promote adoption. I think it's a great idea that PetSmart does it. Um, they get a lot of traffic um, with people coming in with their dogs. Some of them are older dogs, and they're like, oh, you know, look at that dog, you know, mine's a little older. So it's a good exposure for our dogs, any dogs actually, to get seen, to get adopted. The PetSmart on Sepulveda and Torrance invited three different rescue organizations to participate in National Adoption Weekend. The Carson Cats, Whiskers and Tails, and Second Chance. Second Chance actually goes around and they go to the shelters and they adopt the animals out and then they put them up for adoption. 
And when someone adopts an animal, PetSmart provides them with a special book to get them and their new furry friend off on the right paw. For the adoptions, you also get a coupon book that allows you to get food, beds, coupons for uh, collars, leashes. You get a free examination at Banfield and we also sell them for $20. PetSmart promotes animal rescue not just on National Adoption Weekend, but every weekend. The Torrance store has adoption Saturdays and Sundays from 12 p.m. to 4 p.m. and some in-house residents who are always at the store waiting for their forever home. These are uh, cats up for adoption. They are here full time until they are adopted. We like to keep them out here for showcase. The cats are housed in the adoption part of the store. The store itself is a pet and pet owner's playground. It has everything you would need for your canine companion. We have the treats, we have the food in a lot of the varieties. Um, we have stuff for the cats, for the dogs. We have the pet hotel, the grooming, and we have the hospital. We have a variety of fish, freshwater fish, uh, hamsters, guinea pigs, and chinchillas, and snakes and small reptiles. PetSmart doesn't only give back with adoption events, but they also have PetSmart charities to raise money to save pet lives, subsidize spay and neuter surgeries, and support animal welfare organizations. We have a lot of charities that we do. We, you can donate at the registers, or we have little donation cups, or you can actually donate to the uh, adoption centers themselves. Through the PetSmart Charities program, they raised more than $32 million for animal organizations, subsidized 247,000 spay neuter surgeries, and have saved 400,000 animals' lives. Just come out and adopt as many or one even. It can, you can make a difference. For more information on the PetSmart Charities, please visit PetSmartCharities.org. What a great event. We're going to take a short break, but don't go anywhere. There's much more doggone fun when we come back. You're running late, and your path is blocked by water crossing the road. It doesn't look that deep, so you decide to drive through it. Bad decision. And it may be. Welcome back to Canine Corner. I'm your host, Freeanna Trutanich. Who doesn't love a spa day? And our dogs are no exception. So why not treat them to one? Let's check out Bubbles Pet Spa and learn how they'll pamper your pup. The idea for Bubbles Pet Spa was born in an unlikely way. It started after a trip to the dog beach in a brand new car. It's at the end of the day. We've had all our fun. We're exhausted from playing in the sand and then the water. And then here comes this puppy German Shepherd, full of hair, full of sand and like this beautiful, pristine, brand new car, you know, and she just goes in there, the first thing she does, you know, like Beethoven, she shakes, everything gets everywhere. And um, we look at each other like, you know, I wish we just had like, there was like, like a machine or something we could just like, you know, just poof, you know, here comes out a clean dog. That trip to the dog beach kept them thinking. It must have been like a month or two months later we both, um, we literally, uh, uh, we texted each other or, or talked about that idea. And um, it, it went away a little bit from the dog washing machine to more of, hey, let's take our dog to some pet grooming places around the area. Some of the places we took our dog to, we were like, oh my gosh, we're never going back there. So um, we wanted to do, you know, we were like, dude, we can do this way better. We can do a much better job, and, you know, keep an open environment. And, and that's kind of how we, we started talking about it, but it took years to get to where, hey, let's open up and actually invest some money and do this. You know. Ten years and five locations later, Bubbles Pet Spa is your one stop for pet grooming and styling. We have an range of service here. We do full service dog grooming. We have uh, pet styling where we do the haircuts. Uh, every haircut comes with a bath. We do the bathing and uh, all that good stuff. Um, one thing that's been very convenient too for our customers, we've been doing pickup and delivery. We offer that two days a week at each location. So we'll pick up your dogs in the morning, we'll drop them off in the afternoon. 
In addition to regular grooming services, Bubbles Pet Spa offers treatments tailored to your dog's needs. You know, we have all kinds of, you know, oatmeal treatments for your dog and soothing treatments for their skin and coat. Uh, dogs can have a lot of allergies and be really, had really dry skin in Southern California. So um, we can do like a moisturizing treatment and those kind of spa services that you encounter at a human spa. We do that for dogs as well. And the pet spa atmosphere is working for the dogs and their owners. Why go to a grooming salon when you can come and bring your dog to a spa? You know, it's, uh, it's, it's already a nervous time for your dog. It's stressful. If we can make it easier for them, you know, they'll appreciate it. And uh, we get so many compliments where people are like, oh, this is the only place my dog just walks in the door. The groomers at Bubbles Pet Spa are with the dogs from start to finish throughout the grooming process. It's a one-on-one -on -one, um, treatment here, so we work on one dog at a time from beginning to end. And as soon as we're finished, you know, we call the client and let them know that their uh, pet is ready to go home. The groomers at Bubbles Pet Spa will make sure they find the best grooming plan for your dog. Sometimes it's a trial and error. Sometimes, you know, we'll try an oatmeal and it turns out they're still itching. So we'll try the aloe and that, that you know, tends to work a little better. And that's when we'll make a note that, you know, aloe works best for this dog or oatmeal works best for this dog or just a moisturizing conditioner will do. We have uh, five grooming stations. Um, sometimes there are more people working here, so we share the, uh, the stations. But uh, each one has, you know, a place to put all the, our equipment in. Um, this is where we usually have our dogs when we're grooming them. They start here, they finish here with one person. We don't have one person bathing and another person doing the styling. We do everything one-on-one uh, -on -one here. Bubbles Pet Spa makes the grooming experience as least stressful as possible for your dog. In addition to dogs, Bubbles Pet Spa also offers services for cats. We also do cats, which is, uh, it's a big misconception. A lot of people don't think they should bathe their cat because they clean themselves. But it's really important to keep your, your cat clean. And uh, oftentimes some of them can't groom themselves. So they'll end up with giant knots or holes or you know, we have to cut out the knots. And Bubbles Pet Spa also offers a rewards program for customers. We have a club membership for our loyal customers that come in all the time and uh, you join the club for life and uh, you get all kinds of rewards and points and stuff like that. If you are interested in contacting Bubbles Pet Spa, please visit BubblesPetSpa.com. Not only does Bubbles Pet Spa offer great spa services for pets, but if you prefer, you can give your dog a bath right at the salon. Let's get some tips from the pros at Bubbles about the self-wash stations. We also offer self-washes. Um, we, we have packages as well. A lot of clients like to you know, bond with their animal and wash them themselves, or they, they even like to try it, and we walk them through it. First time they come here, you know, we show them. We always tell them to feel free and you know, ask if they have any other questions. You know, we leave them to their own. It's not timed. They can take as long as they want here. Uh, and if they have any questions, they can always ask any of us, and we're always willing to help. You guys are the pros, so. <laughs> <laughs> we always have stairs or ramps for, you know, big dogs to get in here. We keep a noose in here in case they want to keep their dog restrained in the tub so that it doesn't, you know, suddenly jump out of the tub. Um, we show them how everything works, how this is just plain water, it's always set to warm temperature. Sometimes it takes a little bit to run warm because you know the pipes are cold, but once they let that run, it's going to be warm uh, water at all times. Um, they're always, you know, if they want to adjust it, they can always adjust it to their liking. Um, we always offer a self-wash kit or self-wash bucket uh, with a couple towels, a uh, brush, a comb, nail clippers if they want to try and clip the dog's nails. Uh, a lot of clients don't do it, but they will ask us to do it and we'll do it for them. There's also cotton and we always offer ear cleaner so that they can clean their ears. Um, like I said, we always show them what it is. This one here is uh, just shampoo. It's a tearless hypoallergenic shampoo. Um, so if the, in case they happen to get it in the eyes, as long as it gets rinsed out, the dog will be fine. We also offer you know, different shampoos for you know, whatever the dog needs. If it's a, a itchy skin, dry skin, if they have fleas, then we always offer them as well a flea shampoo, which is a pesticide-free flea shampoo, and uh, different conditioners depending on what their pet needs. Yeah. There's also a blow dryer underneath the table. Um, if they want to blow dry their dog. A lot of clients don't do it. They're just like, oh, they'll air dry. But, uh, but they, uh, you know, they're always welcome to use it if they need to. 
they can do their uh, de-shedding treatment here or they want to do it themselves. Um, we will give them the, sh the shampoo and the conditioner to aid with the uh, de-shedding treatment. Um, we do have a couple of Furminator brushes. A lot of people don't know what that is, but it looks kind of like a blade and it helps drag that undercoat out so that they can get rid of it here in the tub and, uh, and then they don't have to take the dog back and continue shedding at their house. Yeah. If you have a question, contact us and we'll be sure to get you the right answer. Call us at 310-618-5762 or email us at caninecorner at torrentca.gov. Now, if you missed the adoption segment at the beginning of our show or just want to see the adorable dogs again, here's your recap. Walter is a two and a half year old Chihuahua mix and Athena is a three year old Greyhound Chihuahua mix. They are best friends and love playing together. They are very sweet and lovable dogs. They would be great family dogs. They love chasing their toys and would do best in a home with a small yard. They are looking for their forever homes. Baby Bear is a two year old Chihuahua. He's a friendly and sweet dog. He's almost fully house trained. He's a mellow dog and would do best in any type of home. He is very lovable. Wyatt is an eight-month-old Dachshund Chihuahua mix. He was in the rescue with his siblings who've all been adopted. He is house trained, he loves to play, and gets along with other dogs and children. He's a lap dog and is looking for a family to love. If you are interested in adopting any of these dogs, please contact the Whiskers and Tails Foundation at whiskerstails.org. Be sure to check us out on social media for tips for dog owners, sneak peeks at our upcoming episodes, and of course, pictures of my dog Popeye. That's all the time we have today. Thanks for joining us here on Canine Corner. I'm Rhiannon Tritanich, and we'll see you next time.